joining us on your stocks today we have Hemant Rustagi and Kanal Botra to answer all your stock as well as personal finance queries thanks gentlemen for joining us on this very special day our first um, query is from Priya Gupta she calls us from New Delhi with an investment in Lanco Industries hi hi Priya hello hi Priya we can hear you yeah, hello hello i i have uh, 250 shares of lanco industries at the rate of rupees 48 uh, i want to know the future of the company and uh, still i am old, old or not how long are you willing to hold on to this uh, 6 months 6 months okay yes um Kunal, she's gotten into uh, lanco industries at a good price buy price is 48 currently it's at 71 mm -hmm. Should she hold on to this stock for the next six months and what will be an appropriate exit point for her? I think if the horizon can be extended a bit further, I think, uh, you know, if, if probably the horizon gets extended to say one and a half to two years, I think that is where, you know, uh, the, I think the investor stands to gain, uh, you know, a good chance of, uh, you know, getting a real potential on the upside because I think looking at the, the uh, you know, the pattern for the next six months, there could be a chance that you may see a, a correction happening. So I think the ideal strategy, you know, for, for the investor, uh, which I would recommend, is to try and book out your profits over here, wait for an entry point, uh, you know, which is below 60 odd. Uh, I think there could be a chance that in the next uh, couple of months there could be a correction happening because it's been a straight one-way performance for Lanco Industries and you've not seen a correction or consolidation happening over the last one year. So I think the probability is much more higher of a correction. Uh, again, uh, as I said, the uh, ideal strategy is to book out profits over here, wait for a correction where you could re-enter and then you know extend your time horizon to one year or more. All right, that's the advice for Priya. Priya, I hope you were listening to that carefully. We have another caller on the line with us. This time around, uh, Deepti Prabhu calls in from Bangalore, and I think she wants to talk about her investments in Hero Motor. Hi, Deepti. Hi. Hi, what's your question? First of all, my heartly congratulations to all CNBC team on celebrating 15 years. Deepti, thank you so much. Thanks so much uh, for watching with us and staying with us. And we hope that we continue to provide you with the kind of advice that you're looking for. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, my query is, hmm? uh, I bought uh, Hero Motors uh, 3350 call at okay. 14 rupees premium. Three, three, it's a five, December zero. contract. Okay. Hmm. Uh, can I hold it or... Uh... All right. Uh, Kunal, she's brought the 3350 call uh, for December series at a premium of 40 rupees. So what's the advice for her now? Should uh, What can she do? I think, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's already at, uh, I, you know, if I'm not wrong, around 11, 11 and a half rupee. Uh, you know, for, for, for the option to, you know, really go into the money, you know, the stock has to cross, uh, for the investor to make money, you know, the stock has to cross 3400, which I think, uh, you know, for the month of December seems to be a bit, uh, you know, difficult. Uh, I think my, my suggestion here would be to, you know, to try and, uh, you know, have a stop loss very close to six and a half or seven rupees on the option. Uh, you know, uh, at time, I think the, the worry part would be the time value, uh, because I think that mm -hmm. DK, uh, you know, if, even if Hero Motor stays over here or, or these levels for the next one week also, I think there could be a chance that the time value may erode uh, the option price. But I think that that's uh, you know the, the advice which I would give. Have a stop loss of seven and probably look to you know exit around 15 or 16 odd rupees. Our next query is from Prayag Mahajan. He writes to us from Amritsar. Hi, Prayag. Prayag. Okay, let's. Um, read out his query he wants to know um, where he should invest with a longer term time horizon for best returns so these are the only details that we have Heman um, what would your recommendations be well considering the fact that he wants to invest for long term you know the focus should be on investing in an asset class like equity that has the potential to provide real rate of return which is post tax return uh, minus inflation. But uh, while investing in equity is also equally important to choose the right investment vehicle and also the right strategy. I think mutual fund can be an ideal vehicle for all those investors who are not well versed with how to choose the right stock and when to enter, when to exit, uh, because uh, you know the professional, uh, the full-time professional manage your money. And SIP is indeed a great strategy because it allows you to invest, you know, a fixed amount every month, 
when you invest for a longer period, you benefit from averaging and also you benefit from compounding. So I think uh, a few funds that I would recommend for a time, for a long-term time horizon would be HDFC Equity Fund and the Reliance Equity Opportunity Fund and Birla Frontline Equity Fund. Since we are talking about investing only in equity for the long term, I think to ensure that there is a right balance in the portfolio, my recommendation would be that any investment which is made with a short-term horizon should be made primarily in the debt-oriented fund so that there is a, there is a clear balance between risk and reward in the portfolio. All right. Uh, uh, that's the advice coming in for you, Prayag. I hope you were listening that you need to invest. Uh, if you want to invest for the longer term, you should probably be betting on equities. Like uh, Hemant has mentioned, you could look at some uh, equity diverse uh, oriented balanced funds. Up next, we have another caller on the line with us, Rajesh Sachdev calls in from Ghaziabad. Hi, Rajesh. Hello, ma'am. Hi, good afternoon. What's your question? Actually, uh, my questions do have a reply. Pura hmm, but I uh, basically, uh, one of the spice jet. Okay. I bought a 2000 share around uh, 20.50 pesa. Okay. So that's the share, and the rest of the DLF. Hmm. Actually, when the DLF was down around 100, all the news channels were saying that it should be upgraded, be based on such, be based on such, be based on bounce. So bounce, now it's come 160. Hmm. What should we do? Okay. Um, Kunal, let me post uh, both the questions to you. Uh, his first question is on SpiceJet, where he's making a bit of a loss. He's bought it at levels of about 20 half. Uh, the second is on DLF, which, uh, 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 you know, I guess his buy price is about 100. So on both the stocks, what's your advice? I think for Spice State, uh, you know, the longer term chart pattern still suggests that you know, it's, it's going through a tough time, you know, it's still a downtrend for the stock. Uh, even after the recent rally, you know, from 50 naught to 21, 21 and a half, you know, the stock has come back to those uh, buy price. And you know, I think uh, more than more than the comeback, uh, you know, or, or the fall, uh, you know, it's the, the viciousness of the fall, uh, you know, Sumera, which is, which is concerning for the, mm. uh, you know, the investors who try and anticipate a bottom over here. So I think you know it's much more safer and much more prudent for these stocks, you know, to try and break out for spice jet. Uh, I think the breakout level is very close to 22. So I think till the time the stock does not break 22 or 22 and a half for you know at least for a couple of weeks, I think the longer term picture would still remain to be you know uh, negative for spice jet. Coming to DLF, uh, I think since the investor has bought at a, at a at a interesting purchase price of 100, and I think the stock is already up 50, 60 rupees. Uh, in the stock, uh, looking at the overall trend for DLF, I think it still seems to be uh, in some sort of a negative downtrend. So I think uh, you know it's trading below the 200 moving average as well, which I think is a sign of worry. And, and I think at this point, where you know Nifty is in a, in a bit of a, a mixed zone or a trading zone, where there seems to be some amount of profit taking happening, I you know I would not be surprised if DLF also witnesses some sort of a profit taking over the next couple of days. So I think my advice would be, if you're looking at it from a trading perspective, I think you should try and book out your profits on DLS. Okay, that's the view on DLF as well as Spice Chat. Moving on, Jaswinder Saluja has called us from Pune, got a question on Infosys. Hi, Jaswinder. <coughs> hello, ma'am. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm new into uh, the share marketing and uh, I just wanted to invest in Infosys. Okay. Approx 30,000 for long term. Okay. So is this the right time to invest in Infosys after the split, share split? Okay, um, Kunal, he's called it an appropriate time because the stock itself is down close to about 5%. Would that be an attractive entry point if he has a longer term time horizon in Infosys? Would you recommend it? I think uh, you know, I think this is an attractive price for Infosys, uh, but I think uh, you know the concern could be that the fall today might uh, you know get a little bit uh, you know unnerving for the next couple of days, and they, there could be a chance that the stock may see a, you know a minor correction happening because I think generally that's what the tendency happens for you know such uh, you know large cap stocks when they witness a, you know a, a severe gap down and the gap does not get filled. So I think there seems to be some amount of follow through selling, which may happen. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, looking at it from a long-term perspective, I think this is a very good step, uh, you know, where you can probably start uh, buying the first tranche. Uh, I would still suggest that even if the stock corrects to, say, 1900 or below 1900, I think that could be, you know, the second entry point which you could look forward. But I think from a long-term perspective, this seems to be one of the good stocks on the IT space which you should be betting on. All right, so a uh, good bet uh, at this point looks to be emphasis. Just when there, I hope that answers your query. We need to take another quick break. Back in a bit, we'll continue answering all your stock and personal finance queries with Kunal and Hema. Stay with us.
CNBC TV 18, celebrating 15 years of leadership. So here is congratulating CNBC and the entire team on completion of uh, 15 years. It has been a very memorable uh, journey and uh, that has shaped not only India but the Indian economy and I am sure that in the next 15 years you will do 10 times more. So happy birthday and wish uh, all of you at CNBC TV 18 the very best and many many more achievements in the years to come. CNBC TV 18, celebrating 15 years of leadership. Hi, welcome back to your stocks. Markets accelerating their fall just a tad bit. The Nifty is once again below that 8450 mark and the Sensex is seeing a cut of nearly about 300 points. But let's uh, uh, get some of our callers in. Uh, Karan Gupta writes to us from New Delhi and uh, he says he wants to diversify his portfolio and wants to get in a bit of allocation to gold. He just wants to know whether this is the right time or not. Hemant, what's your advice for people who are now looking to um, uh, buy gold to add to their portfolio? Is this the right time or would you advise waiting for a bit? Well, so one of my advice is that, you know, uh, one has to be very clear about why one wants to invest in gold. If it's a part of asset allocation and you know, it's always advisable uh, to invest in gold, you know, through systematically, especially when you're, when you're buying uh, paper gold, buying gold ETF or gold uh, say savings fund. Uh, if it's a part of the asset allocation, then my recommendation is because the gold prices are subdued and likely to remain subdued. And if, if the money has to be invested through SIP, I think one can start investing through SIPs, provided, like I said, the, the you know, time horizon has to be slightly longer and one has to invest in a disciplined manner. But if it is purely from the point of view of, you know, trying to make some uh, good return, uh, I don't think then gold is the right asset class. But purely as, as an asset allocation play and also if the objective is to accumulate gold, then definitely some, some investment can be made.